Over the next 10 million years, the molecular cloud slowly contracts under the force of its own gravity. As our gas cloud collapses under the force of gravity, to become a star, something very interesting happens. And I'm going to try and demonstrate what happens with these two lead balls and this carousel. Now I'll step up here on top of the carousel. I've now increased my mass by the mass of two lead balls, and I'm holding them straight out. So now the mass in my body is distributed at a distance far from the center. Fleming is impersonating a molecular cloud. The weights represent its mass, which to start with is spread over a huge area. Now I'm going to ask Lucy to give me a hand here and give me a little bit of angular momentum. As I start spinning, I'm going to move the balls closer to the center of my mass and notice how faster I'm spinning. And when I bring them out, I slow down again. And as you can see, this is exactly what happens to the interstellar cloud. The large molecular cloud had a small rotation. When it shrank, this rotation speeded up. As the cloud contracted, the energy of the material flying in from space caused its center to heat up. This spinning ball became our sun. The rest of the cloud was spinning so fast that it spread out into a vast disk of dust and gas. This was the cradle of life, the material that would form the Earth and all the other planets.